everyone welcome back to my channel and this video is all about my October favorites for this year we have stuff ranging from skincare makeup tools makeup you name it so stay tuned and yes I have recorded this tutorial and this will be up shortly after this video goes live so yeah let's just jump into what I've been digging for the month of October first we're gonna start with skincare um right off the bat I have the Dr. Brandt pores Dermabrasion abrasion pore perfecting exfoliator and this helps to refine the appearance of pores it deep cleans pores and helps smooth the appearance of skin textures I've been using it and I have already seen a difference I am loving this and um, it's suitable for all skin types and it has like I don't even know if you can see that but my lights are so bright but it has like fine like a fine gritty texture and I guess that's what helps it to um, really exfoliate skin but I've been loving that a whole lot and next we have is the Parma's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E and it soothes marks and tones skin and it heals and softens relieves dry rough skin this is the time now the weather is changing and my skin is very dry like I tend to have normal to combination skin throughout the entire year up until this point November December January February I tend to become very dry so I need something that will lock moisture into my skin so I love using this and now that skincare is done let's move on to some makeup tools like I have maybe I just have one brush that I would like to talk about specifically you guys have seen this brush in the past few tutorials that I've been uploading and it is the Morphe R7 brush this is so perfect for bronzing up the skin and contouring with not I absolutely love this brush like I don't even want to touch any other brush when it comes to that part of makeup I am loving this brush so much because it really dispersed the product wherever you need it to go so yeah this this has been like number one on my list when it comes to applying my bronzer or contour I've been loving this brush next moving on to what brows I'm loving two products right now that is the LA girl blackest brown shady slim pencil it comes with a spoolie it comes with a spoolie which is so convenient you don't have to be swapping between two things at the same time while grooming and drawing on your brows and this is how slim it is and it's so precise like that's what I love about it and the texture as well it's not too soft and it lasts you it does not move this does not budge so I've been loving this LA girl has been stepping it up when it comes to these pencils and it will last you for quite a while because it is good much they do have good much product in it I've been using this for like three months and I still have a good ways to go so I'm taking this a whole lot and then I have the MAC spiked eyebrows crayon and to tell you the truth those two are very similar especially when it comes to this part of it like the pen the crayon itself like they are slim like and you get a good use you get good usage out of it so I'm kind of loving that I've been using this for a month and a half now and I still have good much product left in it and it's more pigmented than the LA Shady Slim pencil but the two of them are very close so I've been gravitating towards using like swapping between the two of them usually I used to use the LA girl um, dip brow crummy I used to use that for my brows but now I'm so hooked on these brow crayons that I haven't touched my dip brow in so long so yeah that says a lot next up we have the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil and this is in the color or shade perversion and as you can see like this is truly what it says it glides right on 
give it a second to set in you'll be rubbing until tomorrow because it does not budge like it sits in your waterline and it lasts you this is what i have on now and it has not moved like it's there and it's there to stay next we have these top lash eyelashes like oh my goodness these were featured in a tutorial by makeup by Ja and she was um, putting some lashes on a client and she stated that these were purchased off of eBay I was like what these are the lashes I have on now and I have them doubled up and they are so wispy and nice and they, I know that something is on my eyes, but like they are not heavy. They are not weighing my eyes on like how some lashes would do because this is like two pairs on each eye. So like these are like my faves right now because I've been rocking for a while. I've been rocking the Diva Lashes by Pure Cosmetics. So yeah, I found a new favorite for now and that is the top lashes and these are natural hair and they're black so you can just go on eBay and you can just type in the name and they are cheap of course I think they were like a dollar something so hmm like who wouldn't want to pay that and pick up a couple of these so I was happy with that this concealer has been around for um 10 years and I'm just getting my hands on it and that is the MAC Pro Longwear Pink Pot and this is in the shade Pink Truly and I've been testing it out and it's very nice I'm loving it I'm it's not too greasy and it does not tug too much on the lid so that's what I love and I can see myself um, repurchasing this as well because it is a favorite it, it's growing on me I love it next up like people have been talking about this foundation for ages and of course I am late to the show, but it's the Maybelline Matte and Pourless Normal to Oily Fit Me Foundation. I did not go into depth um, on the tutorial that I used this for, but it was the it was the green eyeshadow tutorial with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette, and I did use this. You will see um, the information is listed in the. Um, um, oh gosh, you will see that the information is listed in the description box below that I listed it, and I am in the shade 355 Coconut. And listen, like, and listen, this is a lightweight concealer, like it's full coverage. And what I would say is full coverage, it's like medium to full coverage. And I am loving it, like it's so weightless, like you don't really feel like you have on foundation, but yet still the look of it is there and that's what I love about it. Like I've been loving this and yeah, and it's cheap, like four dollars and something that's like you can't beat it, like please. Moving on, foundation again. Um, and for contouring, I've been using the Black Opal True Color Stick in Suede Mocha. I also was using, a few weeks ago, I was using the Black Walnut, but Black Walnut is kind of too intense, and I needed something that is a little more subtle, because I didn't want too much of a harsh contour going on. So I picked up the shade Suede Mocha, and this is how it looks, and trust me, like, look at this, like, for contouring this can last you forever like this is a whole lot of product so uh, I am loving that as well next I have the Urban Decay all nighter foundation this has been raining for quite some time now and I was kind of finicky about purchasing this because I know that the shade range is quite limited so I finally bit the bullet and made a purchase off Sephora.com and I went with the shade 12.0 because the 11 was like very light. I know that I have golden yellow undertones and this was kind of red so I was watching tutorials over and over I was like wonder what shade I should go with because it's hard for me to like go into Sephora because I am not in the US of course. So it's hard to say well go in there get a sample and then you can make me mind no I could not no I couldn't do that. I had to run the risk of just going with my gut and 
a big help, a big help was watching fellow YouTubers and just um, matching my shade according to the ones that they got. So I went out on a limb and I purchased this. This also comes with a pump and it says that it is waterproof long wear and it is full coverage and it has a matte finish and it's oil free. This is a foundation that I am wearing today and at first I was scared because it was so red. It was so red and as it dried down and oxidized a little bit then I began to really appreciate it because I was I, I was scared. No kidding, I, I was really I was really scared because the oh, I was scared. I was really scared, and the concealer from highlighting and stuff really helped it. And so yeah, I am loving it. Like I used one little pea-sized pump of this, and that covered my whole face. Like stay tuned for the tutorial. You will see. Like I literally was in shock because I know that sometimes I would have to build up my foundations so to just use one pump of this and to have that fully cover the whole canvas of my face I was really shocked by that so this is indeed full coverage yes I did color correct and like I do that with everything with every foundation routine I color correct apply my primers whatnot that whole nine yards but it's really true to what it says. It's full full coverage and I'm not oily. Like I've had this foundation on for hours now and it's holding up very well. So all my other foundation, you you come through for you, you you did that. So um moving on. I have the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfector and this is 1.35 fluid ounces. It has a pump and I've also used this underneath my foundation and like I said I have yet to blot. I applied it only to those areas that I am extremely oily after a certain amount of time. I'm thinking that you can wear this with any foundation that you have. It was, it retailed for I think $35 on Sephora. The foundation was like $40. So yeah, it was a good purchase. I am loving this and yes, yeah, moving right along. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect Press Highlight in Prosecco Pop. Like this highlight is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's kind of washed out from the light. It's kind of washed out from the lighting, but oh my gosh, like ooh, this is so gorgeous. I am loving it. That is what I have on now. As you can see, that glow is coming through. It's coming through. And this is that. Uh, um, I want to show you guys that pencil we put on earlier. That ain't budget. So. Go cop you a Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, whatever it's called. You go and get you one if you about that life eyeliner or whatnot. Go cop you one. But this is amazing. This highlight is amazing. I've been loving it. I can't get enough of it. And I have a whole lot of highlighters and I'm really gravitating towards using this. So I am so happy with this as well. Next, I have the Maybelline. The Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Medium Deep 30. And this is it. I have used this powder on the blue makeup tutorial. I think that that's that's the first Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette um, tutorial with the blue shadow, that pretty glittery blue shadow. If you have not seen it, go back and watch it because it was bomb. It was nice. It turned out very nice. And this is the powder that I use to set my concealer. I've been loving it. It's nice and smooth. It's very finely milled. And that is what I love about it. And you get a whole lot of product. Like for seven bucks, you get a whole lot of product. This is how many, how many ounces is this? This is 0.7 ounces. So come on girl go get you one this is amazing stuff last but not least like you guys should know this because you've been seeing tutorials being pumped out back to back to back like 
I've been on it because I have been gravitating towards picking up this palette so much and this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette like this palette is so amazing like you can create so many different looks with this palette oh my gosh like this eyeshadow that I have on now that was created from this palette the previous two tutorials were created from this palette and there's just so many more that I can do with this palette like they hit it out of the park with this palette and I am so happy of the investment as you guys heard me mention this palette retailed this palette retails for $38 on the Morphe website. To get it here to me in the Bahamas, I had to pay an extra $40. I didn't mind because this palette is just amazing, amazing, amazing. And I can't get enough of it. Like, it's just, it just is what, this is the palette that you would want to throw into your suitcase for every time you travel somewhere because you know that without a shadow of a doubt you can conjure up a look with this palette like this is that type of palette you would want to take with you so kudos hats off to Morphe and Jacqueline for creating such a phenomenal eyeshadow palette only one thing I wished it had was a mirror and the girl will be set but that doesn't deter me from taking this everywhere that I go because as you can see the looks are just amazing and this and the, the, the consistency of the shadows they are so blendable they're creamy they're buttery and they are just so smooth you will get a bit of fallout because they're so pigmented like that but that's why I opt to do my eye makeup first and then go to my face with any eyeshadow palette that that has pigmented shadows, you would get kickback, you would get a lot of fall out, but the end results are just amazing. So I would encourage you, if you have not gotten around to purchasing this palette, please do. It's amazing and I, I just can't get enough of it. And that wraps it up for my October favorites. And this is the first favorites video that I've posted. So I am proud of myself. I think I did very good. What do you think? Leave some comments in the comment section below and let me know. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family. And if you have not subscribed as yet, please hit on that red subscribe button. You can subscribe for free, so why not? And the notification bell so that you can always be alerted when I would upload new content onto this channel. And until the next time, toodles. And stay tuned for this tutorial as well. So peace out.